Alright guys, the Will Wonder here again today, and today I'm doing another video, and this is because the fixtures for the whole of the championship came out this morning, and Wolves, uh, we've got a very tricky start to the season, uh, the season kicks off on the 5th of August, I mean there's a match on 4th of August, Sunderland host Derby, but um, Saturday the 5th of August is Wolves fixture so far, but it could be changed as Wolves are at home to Middlesbrough, now that's going to be a big test. A team that have just come down from the Premier League and they're going to be playing uh, Wolves. you know. And ironically, all three teams relegated from the Premier League are playing Midlands teams. Sunderland are hosting Derby, Villa are playing Hull and we host Middlesbrough. So we could be changed for live fixture. But that that's going to be um, a really tough start for us really against Middlesbrough. And it doesn't get any easier because the following Saturday on the 12th, we are away to Derby County. That's our first away game, Derby County. Uh, we played away at theirs towards the end of last season. We lost 3-1. Uh, Ivan Cavallero got sent off. It was one of those games. And Derby are a very tough team as well. They they were a top 10 championship team easily. So that's making it even tougher. And then the following Tuesday after that, August the 15th, it gets no easier for Wolves as we face Hull City away. So first three games we've got two teams relegated from the Premier League now as I say this is quite tough so it's quite a bad thing in a way because it's quite tough you are getting the get the tough, some tough games out early on but you're having such a tough start it's quite difficult to get the momentum however two teams that have just been relegated from the Premier League finishing 18th and 19th we have a chance to if we can begin well we can really show that we've got confidence and we can actually beat them we've done it before we can do it again because the one thing about getting relegated is that they don't, they do not have the confidence boost. They've just lost. Obviously, to get relegated, they've lost more than they've won. They've had some good performances, poor ones, and we have to try and act on that. And we, we have, if we go into these games full of confidence, I believe we can win. And I believe Nuno, you know, maybe he can organise a team well. But Nuno has got a very tough start. Then on Saturday, August the 19th, fourth game at home to Cardiff. Now Cardiff, I wouldn't say are the strongest team in the Championship. But under Neil Warnock, they have done extremely well. I think they would have finished like fourth if Neil Warnock had been at Cardiff the entire season last season. So that is showing a good, strong team there. So obviously, first four games, we've we've got to get as many points as we can. But that's going to be very tough for us. So we have to get through that. Then the fifth game, uh, last game in August, is Brentford away. You know. Brentford, they're a decent side. Um, they haven't really hit the levels of the first season in the Championship, but they are a very decent side. And we, you know, we'll have to do a lot to beat them as well. Some other main uh, fixtures, guys, really, is uh, October the 14th is our first West Midlands uh, clash. It's at home to Aston Villa. Now, we, we did well against Villa last season. We took four points out of a possible six, and that's actually quite good, I think. So, as I say, yeah, uh, against Villa... At home and the reverse fixture for that is uh, March the 10th will be away at Aston Villa hopefully we can win one of them and at least get a point in the other one but we'll have to wait and see uh, Birmingham we face away uh, December the 2nd and we are at home uh, April the 14th now I say these are some these are some tough games as well you know we we all love rivalries but they are also tough games and that's in about in the middle of the season middle to about like just just before the middle and just after the middle is where we've got these games. So this is showing that we've got uh, some tough games in the middle as well. And that's getting rid of the likes of Redden and that as well. So we we have got some very tough fixtures in the middle as well. And then just to sum it up for Wolves, it doesn't end easy either. Because if we are in a playoff battle coming up to the end of the season, we will be tested thoroughly on April the 28th. We, uh, our last home game of the season is at home to Sheffield Wednesday. And for the last two years, I have lost in the playoffs. So maybe they've not got the team to win the playoffs or finish in the top two, but they've got a team that is good enough to keep getting them in the playoffs. So we have to be wary of this. They are going to be a challenge. And on 6th of May, guys, we are away to Sunderland. And Sunderland, you know, the whole season would have gone, gone by events. If they've done really well, they're going to be confident. If they haven't, Maybe we can go there and easily get a win. But we'll have to wait and see. It's going to be very tough. But we've got a tough four, first four or five games. We've got a few tough games in the middle. And we've got a tough finish to the season. So we really have to play at our best. Um, we've got to 
use the transfer window wisely. We've got to get the pre-season under our belts. We've got to give Nuno time if needed. And we have to get this team to gel because otherwise we are going to really struggle this season. But as I say, tough start, tough finish and uh, some very tough games in the middle of the season. And to be honest, it's very rare that you have a championship team that is really not tough. You know, even even Wolverham last season, you know, when we played them, they were very tough for us to beat anyway. Other teams walked past them. Some teams struggled. So the championship is just full of tough teams and this is going to be a test for Wolves. That's it really, guys, for today. But um, as I say, guys, I feel that we can, I feel overall maybe we can finish in the playoffs this season or just outside and we can at least compete for them. But we're going to have to start well. Having these two relegated teams, it's a good thing and a bad thing. If we can take advantage of the fact that they won't be low in confidence, then yes, we can win. If we don't, then I'll get a feeling that they might just have the quality, uh, depending on who they get in the transfer window, to beat us. And don't forget, you know, Hull, um, I think they've just got the ex Russian manager in the middle. We've got Gary Monk, who had a good season in the Championship last season. It's going to be very interesting. Anyway, guys, that's it from me today. Um, if you like the video, why not like it and subscribe and comment, guys, what do you think to this start? Did you see us getting a tough start or did you think we'd get an easier start? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think we can kick off the season in a good way? Uh, then let me know, guys, and I'll speak to you all later.